They help others, but now a local nonprofit could use some help themselves. The group helps thousands of North Texas students and their families, but as Alexis Wainwright explains, they never thought flooding would wipe them out. Water came rushing into this warehouse during the historic flood last month. The Irving School Foundation just opened this building around this time last year. So the water came down here, so we don't know what all is damaged here. We're still assessing and um, we think we've lost quite a bit. Crystal Scanio gives us a look at the damage left behind. Coming in from the walls, uh, from the ceiling, back here, it was coming in under the floor and then in our rear dock. She says water came all the way into their warehouse and through the front of their building. So we found out, unfortunately, that we didn't have flood insurance and um, why would we? We don't have water anywhere near us, so it's just something we didn't anticipate. This small nonprofit serves 120,000 people a year. We have tons of glue sticks. They provide school supplies, uniforms, and meals for those who need it. This is so much helpful for them, especially if you have four or five students. I understand it's hard to buy uniforms and school supplies, and this is awesome. After the storm, they lost a lot of furniture and warehouse equipment and some supplies. But without having fundraisers over the past two years, because of the pandemic, they're in a tough situation. We have depleted all of our reserves. We have nothing left to rely on in terms of extra funds to take care of something like this. We desperately need donations. The foundation estimates at least $25,000 in damages. If you'd like to donate, you can log into the Irving School Foundation website. In Irving, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News.